going back to your original question, just sort of the differences from some of those college athletic realms to things like this, it's, um, you know, it, it does have to do with a little bit of that coaching criteria and what those coaches are looking to get out of it. I learned a lot of the approach that I take from a practical standpoint, actually working with sports like track and field, because I was afforded to work with people like Jerry Clayton at the University of Michigan, where, I mean, we had a finite regiment built for each skill category, but then we had individualized regimens chopped up within those, depending on their training age, depending on their efficacy. So there were some guys, Jerry, especially when he came to our throwers, is like, I, he'd be like, look, I have no interest right now in what this dude's results are because he's not at that level. So we're 100% investing our chips into his physical development. So we were able to get super finite with that. Whereas you got someone like, hey, these first six meets don't matter. Those are prep meets. This is the one that we really need to be primed for. You know, we're individualizing an approach for that particular athlete to qualify for certain events so that nationals or whatever nationals, right. Olympic qualifiers, you know, junior Olympic qualifiers with that age bracket. Um, so I would say that was a precursor to really helping set me up in understanding individualized periodization schemes, training calendars, competition calendars, different motives and objectives. Cause when you get here, no two are alike, even within the same weight class. I mean, coming from oh, the I'm same sure. gym, they're, they're not alike. Um, so it helped to have the open eyes to that, that perspective, because it's just easier to flow with the go. once you see so much of that here on a daily basis. 